Recording in progress. Satnam, everyone. It's Candice from Soulfire Social. Welcome as we continue our work through the book Self Knowledge. We have quite an interesting class today. The first uh, Kriya is working on our metabolism. So really working to activate our metabolism. It's quite physical. It's going to involve some cardio. So we'll certainly wake us up on a Monday morning. We'll see what happens there. And then we actually go into a really beautiful um, kind of deeper, longer meditation and pranayama work afterwards, um, which I think you'll find quite elevating. It includes not just breath, but also um, we'll be using some mantras and I'll explain those as well. But uh, let's go ahead and just kind of arrive in our space. Let's put our hands on our knees, coming into your easy pose and closing the eyes. Allow yourself to just kind of let your sit bones connect to the earth. Push the hips forward a little bit if you want to be on your blanket or bolster just to get that beautiful posture. Shoulders should be relaxed and down. The chin always, that's your Jalandhara Bandha, should be gently just tilted forward. Eyes are closed and the eye focus is on the brow point. And make sure that the face gets soft. There's no tension in the jaw. Tongue drops into the soft palate. And let's just bring our focus right onto our breath in and out the nose and just bringing some awareness to the breath coming in and visualize that prana your life force energy like white golden light starting to kind of ripple in and flow into the body into places more deeply than we would with our normal breath you might want to visualize it coming around the back of the ribs down into the pelvic bowl and just starting to really flow and kind of bringing in fresh energy and exhaling any stale energy. And just try and come into your place of peace and calm, allowing the mind, the chatter to just release as we focus on that breath. Beautiful. Let's bring our hands out in front of us, rubbing the palms together vigorously, <clears throat> creating heat and creating energy here. And then we bring that energy right into our heart center. Thumbs connect at the sternum point, fingers pointing up and out. And this is when we tune in with our Adi Mantra. We'll chant this three times and the Mangala Charn three times. And this is how we tune in. Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo means I bow to the infinite wisdom, but I also bow to all of the beautiful wisdom and experience I carry in my heart. The Mangala Charn is our mantra for protection for the duration of our practice. Let's take a nice cleansing breath in through the nose. Let's release that one out through the mouth. One more of those in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's inhale to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Sat-gur-en-na-me, Sri-gur-de-ve-na-me, 
Take a nice long inhale. Hold that breath. Visualize the connection from your heart up to the infinite God, Goddess, however you visualize that, all of the beautiful wisdom we can tap into, but also your heart overflowing with all of the beauty and perfection within you. You're surrounded by a protective light of energy. Let's release the breath. Go ahead and put your hands in Gyan Mudra. This is our receptive posture. Arms are open, thumb and index are touching, fingers are here, and I'm just gonna step back I want to check one thing. Our video is looking a little grainy, so I just want to check. And then I'll just see what's happening there. All right, we're good. So I'm going to sit on my bolster. You can choose to just sit in easy pose, whatever works for you. I like to have this little push up as I'm sitting forward. Now, we're going to be doing first it's just literally like you're swimming this is our movement so you're going to feel a beautiful stretch in the shoulders remember we're really trying to make sure we activate the armpits whenever we're doing movements like this so go ahead and close the eyes and find your flow with this swimming motion it's going to be really lovely way to wake up the shoulders and get everything moving I'll get us some music and we'll be all ready to roll Okay. Okay. Make sure it's big too. You're swimming big waves. Think about it. you're surfing, you're paddling out. Use your breath, get it out through the nose. You can start slow. But we are going to speed this up. It's three minutes. Soft, strong breath in nose, out nose, and Reaching up, 
Catch your breath for a moment. Okay, you want to keep all that energy in. Eye focus is on the third eye, which is breathing, feeling our heartbeat. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose and reach up. Holding the breath, this is the first pull we'll do on Mula Bandha. You pull anus, sex organs in, it's like a giant kegel. Navel goes back towards the spine. We're creating a lock to ignite the Kundalini energy to rise up through the central channel so we can break through emotional and physical blocks. So we hold that and visualize this energy coming up and clearing. Reach, 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 make sure you feel it through the armpits then turn the palms facing out. We're going to release the breath gently through the nose. Let go of that lock. You'll feel your sitting bones connect. Sweep out to the side. It's like you're clearing your field. Eye focus stays on the third eye. You are just this beautiful central channel of energy in the middle. Fingertips touch the earth. And then just sit 30 seconds just to integrate the impact of that posture also to just recharge through our breath <laughs> That's our key to success. The next one's going to wear us out a little bit. I'll just, well, maybe it won't wear you out. Maybe it'll be exactly what you need on a Monday morning. But let's just gather some energy here. Staying in the neutral mind, knowing we can take breaks whenever we like, but just trying to stay in the breath and the movement. We're going to really wake ourselves up here. Inhale through the nose. Hold that at the top. Really get your eye focus on your third eye and take an extra sip through rounded lips. <sighs> Full expansion of that prana through your heart space. Hold it, hold it. Anything that you need to release, any heaviness, let's let it go with a great big sigh. Ah. All right, so we're gonna come up, kind of standing, and then onto all fours. This is our posture, I'm just gonna show you. So we're here. Later, we're gonna be moving like this. We know how grounding these kind of elephant walks can be. But today, we're gonna be literally, you're jumping, okay? And we're here for six minutes. That's the full time. It's gonna be intense, right? So you need to take a break, or like, you just wanna do a little, okay, you know, you can kind of do baby ones for a while. But we're jumping up for six minutes, so that, that's how we're rolling today. All right, let me get the timer on. <clears throat> Don't worry, think about it. You get fruit at the end. <laughs> fruit at the end. Okay. And you can move the sheepskin if it's too much. You can get. You might want to for this, just because so you can have a little bit more of a gym mat. Okay. We're inhaling up. We're exhaling down. The pull is from the navel. Head is down, but not hanging. Let's go.
sip through rounded lips, hold it and reach through the armpits all the way up, slow release down on the exhale, prayer comes down and lands at the heart. Drop it at the heart and just tune in your heartbeat. So centered, so strong. Eye focuses on the third eye. Face is so gentle. We can do hard things, right? Ooh. Let's inhale again at the heart, but raise that prayer back up. Hold it at the top. Now take an extra sip through rounded lips. Reach now, squeeze Mula Bandha. Pull in, up and in. This is your root lock. Navel goes to the spine and visualize that energy coming up through the red root, the orange of the sacral waters, the yellow at the navel, the green air at the heart, the light blue at your throat, clearing your truth, opening up at the indigo of the third eye and your crown, connecting you up. Open the palms, let's sweep out on the exhale. Take it slow, like you're absolutely clearing your beautiful space all around you. Clear, vital, healthy, strong. Hands touch the thighs. Just stand strong for a moment. One more deep inhale through the nose here. Big sigh. Ah. We come down, we get to stretch. Cat stretches side to side for a minute. You're coming down on your back. You can you start with whatever you want. You want to bring your right knee up. Kind of pulling it in with the hands. Left leg is out straight. Then use the left arm to pull that knee over, extending the right arm out straight as you gaze at that right hand. And just breathe. Give yourself that beautiful spinal twist and breathe into any points of tension. Perfect. on your mat. If your mind wanders, just come back to the music that's playing. You can also use a mantra, Sat Nam. You can mentally chant that. It means truth is my name. It's your connection to the infinite. It's just that I'm going to live my truth. I'm going to speak my truth. Sat Nam. Let's switch sides. Let that right leg go out straight. Bring that left knee in. Give it a little hug. Open up the hips and then pull it over. Nice stretch. If you feel points of tension, use your breath. Breathe in through your nose and consciously direct the prana to the point of tension. Consciously contract that muscle. And on the exhale, you release. Use your breath, use your mind. That's a proper example of you being the master of your mind, your mind being the servant. You tell it what it needs to do. Okay, come back on your back, both knees in, 
pull the knees towards the chest and then rock just a little bit side to side, releasing the lower spine. And then slowly just start to rock up and down on the spine. A couple of times, it's a good adjustment. Shifts the energy through the body. Come back up into seated. And just for one minute, we're gonna go back into our swim, okay? So find your space, get comfortable, <coughs> close the eyes, and let's go. Let's really go for it for this one minute. Side, you have 30 more seconds in that spinal twist. 
Go ahead and come back to just lying on our backs. Then bring, we're laying on the backs here, sorry. And let's just be in this posture for one moment, a little corpse pose. And take your hands and then place them on the belly. And let's breathe through the nose deeply into the belly so you feel it expand. And just let it hold there. Feel your belly fill up. You want that prana all the way down. Now we're going to take the extra sip through rounded lips. And I want you to follow it with your hands all the way up to the chest. So it's a... And you feel it expand. Like you come up to your shoulders. You know you've got all of that air through the ribs, through the chest. Feel it in your back. And then we exhale with a sigh. Ha, watch your chest drop. Last is the belly comes back in. So let's inhale again through the nose, deeply into the belly. Feel that expansion. Then through rounded lips, we bring it all the way up. Expand through the entire upper body. Big sigh out, let it go. Ha. One more. Into the belly. Extra sips up. All the way, all the way. Big sigh. You're going to want to roll over onto your belly now. We're going to come into a bow pose. Now, the thing about this bow pose is we're going to be doing a different breath than normal. So we're grabbing the outside of our feet, right? We're coming into, if you want to start here, forehead down. We're going to be coming up into our bow pose. Now, we're going to be sticking out our tongues and breathing with a, with a strong breath in and out the mouth. And what you'll find is you might just have a natural rocking. So it's a you also might find you dribble on your, on your mat. It just happens. But we have our eyes closed so nobody can see anybody, all right? So let's do that. We are here for three minutes. It's pretty intense. We need a break. You can also do a skydiver. If this is a little more of a natural posture, we just want to make sure that our throat's up a bit. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get the timer on. We've got three minutes. Perfect. It just started. All right. So we're coming into our bows. Up. You're over oxygenating the blood and getting prana deep into your organs here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Keep out, it's getting dry. We'll get some water after this. You can also come into a little mini space here if you need with your break, but you want to keep the breath. Check our time, we're doing so well. Okay, 50 seconds. Head 
drop down, you know, release some of that pressure on the lower back. super strong thing we're going to do right now. Okay. So, let's get ready. Five count, second count. 
Alright, that's all come up right in the fire. Use your cord. <laughs> You're looking at your toes, face stage real gentle too. breathing. I'm just trying to really tune in only to the sounds and vibrations inviting them into your body.
And as you stay in this posture and breathe, maybe bringing in the fruit. And the thought here is that fruits are fantastic for energizing and clearing their ability to accumulate and store breath and chronic energy. These plants that thrive, bringing in everything, giving us back this beautiful prana that we breathe. And as we chant, we're going to be chanting along as we kind of meditate on our fruit. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. So our beginning chant, I bow to the infinite wisdom, but I bow to the infinite within. So this beautiful connection between the higher and all the goodness that's in you and honoring that and your ability to heal and to work with the energy from the plants and just connecting, really. This is a time of renewal and rebirth and so allowing ourselves to feel that connection to, uh, to this beautiful plant and food that will also nourish us as well. So rising up slowly and coming onto your back, you're simply going to lift um, lie on your back and lift your arms up. It's just kind of like, oh my gosh, like, <laughs> look at this amazing piece of fruit that has grown on this earth to nourish my body. And we just hold it as we are here. And it's almost like you're just connecting up, another connection. We breathe. And we're going to be chanting while we do this. And so you're also sending your beautiful energy into the fruits when we eat it. Is it dripping all over? No. <laughs> okay. um, so you're bringing, you're also giving healing energy to this fruit as you're chanting to it. And so then we're going to bring that in when we do eat it. All right. And you'll find the words. One thing, if you're new to the mantras, when we chant, the most healing vibration we have is through our own voice. So don't be shocked. Once you get the words, we'll just uh, bring it in. And uh, we're here for eight minutes. So stay relaxed completely, except for the arms being up. And it says our body will go through some pretty heavy changes as we open up our heart and our connection. And just listen.
up from the heart space.
straight. So just take a moment. Let's just inhale. Hold the breath. Acknowledge all the beautiful healing light and breath in you. Connection up to the infinite. This beautiful fruit to nourish our bodies. All of this vibrating with healing energy. And release the breath and just take a moment of silence and enjoy a bite of your fruit with so much awareness. is we actually took this much time to honor the things that give us nourishment and the connection to the earth and how everything is grown and the energy that's put into it we probably eat a lot differently. protection. Um, and you two may want to just stagger yourselves. Um, and you actually may want to come forward, Missy, so you can um, have your arms available to be open. So the second mantra, when we chant it like this, is for protection and projection of the heart. So everyone remember, our hands start here at our heart center, and we chant the odd great and we're sending love and light out to the collective, to those in need. So you're really allowing yourself to say, all right, I'm going to send out from my heart, odd great and may. When we open up on the second line, jugad great and may. I'm also going to have my heart open. You feel free to come up with this. Um, jugad great and may. I'm going to open myself up to great love as well. Sat great and may. But I'm also going to treat my heart like a temple. So we create this little temple above us. 
And then we go Siri, which is our third eye, when I'm gonna trust my intuition. Siri, Guru, Day, Ve, I'm gonna speak my truth. We stop at the throat chakra. Name, we come back and we feel the vibration of our heart. And just to know, the reason we chant in the ancient mantra instead of um, in English is because of the vibration it creates. It's how your tongue hits the roof of your mouth. And so it allows us to have the effect from the tongue reaching. And you may not know all the words, but just join in. It'll be a couple of rounds and it's just wonderful to open the heart and send love and light out. All right. And then we'll close with our long time sun and have a beautiful Monday. I think we're going to have a real good day today. Okay. Uh, great and May. Here we go. Juga.
meditating your beautiful vibration for a moment connecting again with your breath your energy the space around you So then let the prayer come on to so our hands are on our chests because he said when we close with a long time sun the words are may the long time sun shine upon you all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on and we sing the first round with our hands on our chest and really focus on sending your own love and light or so we can heal ourselves here and Really, really honor yourself for showing up today. On the second round, we open our palms up to honor everyone who's with us today online and in this space. And on the third round, we raise our arms up to share that love and light with the collective before bringing our prayer to our heart again to close with Satna, which is truth is our name. Yeah? Okay, we do that four times. It's all in here. You'll find your way. All right, everybody's good over there. Let's close this thing. Beautiful work. Beautiful work.
your prayer up over your head. Holding your breath as we reach up, may all beings know peace. May all yoga practice contribute to the well-being of all. We begin to exhale, bringing that prayer down through the chakras. Peace to all, light to all, truth to all, and love to all. I bow down giving thanks to Mother Earth and Father Sky, blessing you, blessing your prayers, thanking you for your magical energy today, for trying something new, for being so spirited on a Monday morning. We rise up and greet one another in our truth with a satma. Satma, 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 everyone. And I'll just go through this. Satnam, everyone. Oh, I look at my turban. It's just always so funnily askew. Let's see 